Hi, this is part four of our tutorial. It's the assembly component. Not compulsory if you're just 3D printing your model, but it does teach you some new skills in Inventor that you can take on to later projects. So what we're gonna do is start a new file again. Previously, we've always picked standard millimeter IPT. We're not going to do that this time. We're gonna be picking an assembly. So I've got standard millimeter IAM. And if you look, here we've got a single building block. Here we've got multiple building blocks. It symbolizes that we're putting things together. So I'm gonna click on that and then click create. And this is a different file type before, so you're gonna see different tools. You're gonna to see a different kind of screen. Okay, we'll maximize this just so we have it. Now here, instead of create icons, well, we've got one create, but we've got place. If I click on place, I can scroll and I can find my different parts now pretty sure I saved everything to my desktop so there's my car tutorial part one we can open that click to place it in there I could place multiple if I wanted but no real need a car only has one body we'll go place again we'll find that axle And we need two axles, so I'll click place. We'll go place again, and we'll try to find my wheel. There we go, tutorial wheel. And the car has four wheels. Kind of neat, okay. So let's take the escape key, take the done. Now if you look, everything's gray here, which is fine, but I can go back and modify stuff. So if I go back to my tutorial wheel, I should be able to change the color up here. There's a whole bunch of different things. So let's see what we have. Who doesn't like gold wheels? Okay, so I change it to gold. If I come back to assembly, you'll see that they've updated to gold. Just makes it a little easier to see. Take the body and go back to tutorial part one. And we can change its color as well if we want. Not necessary, but it's just, it's up to you. Denim, let's not do denim. Light red, okay. So just a couple different colors, and that's just makes it easier for you to visualize during the assembly stages. Um, okay, so what we need to do now is start applying constraints to these different things in order to get them to go together. So I've got a function up here called constraint. I'll put that to the side. By default, it selects mate, and it gives us, there's several options, but we're just gonna be using the mate option and the, the flush option. So select one. I wanna select the axis of one of these axles. So don't get the ends. You want the whole axis, so you see that center line there. So we click on that, and I want that to be in the center of this one. So there's my center line, I click, and you can see it puts the two parts together. If I click apply, and we're just gonna cancel, we don't have to do that, you can see that it sticks together. And now those two pieces are attached. I can pull it out, but it stays in line. Now constraint again, we're gonna constrain that one to that one, and apply. So those are both in place now, but they can move up and down. What I want to do next is I want to flush the outside of the car to the outside of that axle. So I'm going to change my solution to flush. I'm going to click on the outside of that axle. And I'm going to click on the side of the car. You can see that snapped it together. Click apply. Same thing here. Click on the end of the axle, side of the car, and apply. So these are all constrained into place now. They'll spin. Hard to tell, but they will spin in there, but they're locked into place. So now we just do the same thing with the wheels. So again, central axis, click, apply, and then I can flush the top, that top, and apply. So that wheel is now locked into the car. So we can do the same with the rest of them. Axis, axis, apply, flush, and flush, apply. Now go back to mate axis, 
axis, apply. We're just going to cancel there because we need to get to this side of the car. Back to constraint, we'll flush. And apply. And our last one, change the solution back to mate. Here's our axis. There's the axis, apply, and let's flush those together. Come on, there we go, and apply. So now if we look at the car, we've got our car constrained as we're going to 3D print it. The wheels will move, everything is constrained into the car. If you want, go back, try to make yourself some tires that could go on there. They won't be 3D printed, but they will show up in the model. And save the file. Assembly one, we'll call it car assembly. And save. That's the end of part four.